Thomas and the Robot. This is the story about Thomas the Tank Engine and some machines that came to visit. It was a busy day on Sodor. A technology fair was taking place at Olvsted Castle. Inventors from all over the world were bringing marvellous machines to the fair. Thomas had lots to do. All aboard! All aboard! Thomas sang out. He took passengers up to Olvsted Castle and pulled some very important inventions. Rocket booster coming through! Rocket booster coming through! puffed Thomas. He even guided a car plane invention to the fair. Clickety clack, clickety clack. When the fair finally opened, there were inventions everywhere. A huge robot called Metal Man stomped past Thomas. Clink, clink, clink. Welcome to the future, said the fat controller. Thomas was excited, but he felt worried. With all these new inventions, would the steam team be part of the future too? Thomas was determined to show the fat controller how useful he could be. Just as useful as any robot. All day long, he chuffed faster than he'd ever gone before. Puff, 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 panted poor Thomas. At the next station, the guard was waiting on the platform. Watch out on the tracks today, Thomas. There's a silver machine on the rails warned the guard. It's the fastest thing on Sodor. It's probably another robot, Thomas sighed. When Thomas rolled in at Olvsted Castle, the silver machine was by the platform. It wasn't a robot at all. It was a high-speed train from Japan. The fastest in the world! I'm Kenji, said the train. You must be Thomas. Thomas loved meeting new friends, but he still felt worried. With robots and faster trains, would the fat controller want to replace him? <laughs> Thomas, look! giggled Kenji. A flying car buzzed right over Thomas. Buzz! Buzz! Further down the platform, Thomas didn't notice two men carrying the box of plans. As the men started to climb into Kenji's cab, the fat controller let out a shout. Thieves! he cried. Those men have stolen the blueprints for the flying car! Thomas, help! Kenji shouted. But it was too late. The thieves shot off down the track in Kenji. Whoosh! Thomas knew he could never catch up with the fastest train in the world by himself. But he had an idea. And he needed the help of the machines. Thomas coupled up to the rocket booster, and... WHOOSH! The rocket roared into life and pushed Thomas faster, faster, faster! Must catch up, must catch up! Thomas puffed. Whirr, whirr, whirr! Sparks fizzed from Thomas's wheels! Thomas was uncoupled from the rocket truck and overtook Kenji. The signal person changed the points, and all at once, Thomas was in front of Kenji. Screech! Kenji ground to a stop. 
quick as a flash, the thieves escaped with the plans. They've got away, puffed Thomas. Hang on, what's that noise? Clink, clink, clink. It was Metal Man and the Fat Controller. The giant robot was holding the thieves up in the air. Thomas and the robot saved the day, said Kenji. The machines are much stronger and faster than me, said Thomas. Maybe they are the future of Sodor. Oh no, I'd never replace my engines, said the Fat Controller. Steam engines are the greatest invention of all time, he added. Thomas blushed from boiler to buffer. He didn't need to worry about robots or faster trains. Sodor would always need the steam team. But Thomas had to admit, robots could be really useful too. Peep, peep!